Hey, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And right now we're talking about panoramas. So something that's really exciting inside of Lightroom 6 is the ability to stitch together panoramic images and uh, do all the corrections and adjustments and everything right here inside of Lightroom. For this example, we're going to do some aerial panoramas that I shot at Balboa. So without further ado, let's just jump in and have some fun right now. A wonderful addition to Lightroom 6 slash Lightroom CC is the ability to merge panoramas together inside of Lightroom without ever having to leave. In the past, we had to go into Photoshop to do this kind of processing. Uh, now we can do it directly within Lightroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three photographs here and we're going to merge them into a seamless panorama. Now these photographs were shot on a quadcopter drone. It was actually a DJI Phantom. And uh, this is Balboa and I was there during the sunrise. And, uh, you know, I love to do this aerial photography because what I can do is create these amazing panoramas but not just compose horizontally, but I can also compose vertically. So if you look at this, you'll see where the ocean is and you'll see where the bay is. And I'm vertically cutting this into the horizon. And this is entirely intentional. Now, if you want to know more about aerial photography with drones, check out my training at photoshopcafe.com forward slash drone. But now let's have a look here and see what we can do to uh, put this together. Now, one of the things I did is I changed the sorting order from capture time because capture time can put it in any order. And I went down here into custom order. Now, in custom order, I can drag and drop these so I can kind of roughly assemble these and see how they should look. Now, we're going to take these three images and we're going to merge them together right here in Lightroom. So let's go up under photo. And then we're going to go down to Photo Merge, and then we're going to choose Panorama. And then we're just going to get this Panoramic Merge Preview. And here we go. And uh, I can drag it out a little bit if I want to see it bigger. Notice that. So let's do that. Let's make this a little bigger, get a better preview. And there's our Panoramic Image. This is the three images put together. Now there's some options here. Right now, I've chosen the Auto Select Projection. And it's chosen the Spherical. I could change it to Cylindrical. And actually, cylindrical is probably more accurate. Or we could try perspective. And in this case, it looks really weird. So that's not the right option. So we could do either of these. And uh, a lot of the time, what I do is I just turn on the auto, and it works quite well. So spherical is good, but cylindrical will give us a little bit more to play with. So I think, actually, we're going to go cylindrical this time. And notice I've got all this weirdness around the edges. What is this? Well, this is essentially, once it... Um, stretches these photographs and makes them fit you get this weird transparency around the edge i can turn on auto crop and what auto crop will do is it'll just hide all of that and show us the photograph so we're looking at it right now and it's looking pretty decent but let me compare this because i can see a little warping and it's also crooked we're going to try spherical and see how that looks so you know we can look at that and maybe you know even though we lost a little bit more i kind of like the way that looks it's pretty nice so you can choose whichever option you want and, uh, and you'll see how that auto crop works. It just kind of helps you to see it a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the cylindrical though because I like the headroom up there. And then I'm going to click merge. Now it's just going to merge this together into a panoramic image right here inside of Lightroom. So if we have a look up here, we can see creating panorama. And this is our status here. And of course, you can click on there. This will even have a little progress bar here that will show you as it's going. So this is our little notification center. So let's have a look. What have we got here? We've got our photograph that's just been merged together. So let's double click and have a look at this. So one of the things we want to do now is we want to get rid of this uh, tilting. We want to straighten it up. So we're going to grab the develop module and then we're going to grab the crop tool. Now, one of the things you'll notice as soon as I grab this crop tool that we get all this preview back again. So everything is non-destructive. And in fact, if you want to get a little bit more information in here, we can by simply clicking down here and dragging across. Notice we can do that. Now, here's another thing. If we go down here and we choose constraint to image, and what will happen now is that, notice as I go there, it won't go outside the boundaries of that transparency. If you watch this lower left corner here, see that? And watch the top here. And same thing. So this way we can crop our photograph, get as much information as possible. There we go. 
without losing any of that information around the edges. So we're not going to introduce any transparency. Now, if we were going into Photoshop, we could do that and use Content Aware. But because we're going to stay in Lightroom, we want to uh, make sure we don't have any uh, stray pixels. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab Angle. And with the angle, we can actually click and drag across the horizon here. And I'm going to release it. And notice what it does is it just straightens it up there to match. And we're also kind of seeing it on our grid there. We can see it's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Enter to apply. And of course, we can go back at any time. And now we can do a little tweaking. Why don't we uh, open up some of these shadows a little bit? Maybe recover some of the highlights to bring in some more of that detail. And at this point here, we can force to pure whites and blacks to kind of create a more contrasty image. And of course, you could tweak with the exposure. One of the things I may do is maybe tweak the exposure there and maybe grab our gradient tool here and just kind of pull it down and then maybe drop our exposure down a little bit so we can see some more of the sky there. So you can see, you know, the different things we could do with this. And then we go away. Actually, let's just click back on there. And now maybe bring our exposure down a little bit. And, you know, we could paint in here if we want to brighten this bit up. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's just grab this brush here. And uh, I'm just going to make it a little bigger. And I'm just going to paint around in the middle bit there. So what we're doing is just kind of selecting that bit. And now what we're going to do, I don't like the settings there. Let's just go there and we're just going to open up the exposure just a little bit. There we go. So what we've done is we've just brightened up. If I roll over there, you can see the the mask there. I just brightened up that little bit there while keeping the background done. So one of the great things about this, as you can see, is I was able to process this panorama. I was able to shoot it right in here and then start processing it directly inside of Lightroom. So, you know, I can change the color temperature if I want, but I don't want to do that just on the brush. So what I'm going to do is click away on the brush. We can see the whole photograph now. And if I change the white balance, notice it'll affect the entire photograph as a whole. So that's one of the wonderful things we've done is we've been able to stitch this together, straighten it, crop it, and do all the adjustments without ever leaving Lightroom. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, I've got a lot more resources for you on the Lightroom 6 launch site. So just click on the link here or underneath, head over to our launch site where I've got a bunch of information, tutorials, and review of Lightroom 6 CC. So uh, check it out and I'll see you at the cafe.